Hello folks, so this is 2009 October November paper 21 and the question number is 6. So in my compilation it has become 16 but uh, actually it is number 6. It shows a cell has electromotive force EMF E and inter resistance small r. It is connected in series with a variable resistor R, uh, external resistance this is, as shown in figure 6.1. So first we have to define the electromotive force. Actually I don't deal with definitions in these solutions. But still, uh, for rough idea, you have to mention the energy required uh, to uh, to carry or to uh, transport uh, unit positive charge throughout the circuit, throughout the whole circuit, you have to say. And you also have to mention uh, the uh, electrical energy obtained from some other source, some other source, converted from some other source. So in number B. Uh, we have the variable resistance R has a resistance X its resistance is X show that uh, this ratio power dissipated in uh, resistor R power here by power produced in cell power produced here is equal to X by X plus R so this first requires that we have to calculate the current here this is the current this is the current so the value of uh, uh, current should be equal to I is equal to uh, total EMF is E and the total resistance is uh, X plus R X plus R so now power in R power in resistor R is equal to is equal to uh, let us say I into it's equal to it's equal to let us say uh, I into uh, I into V here V is the terminal potential difference here let's say like this and similarly power given by the cell power given by the source is equal to I into E here I into E so therefore power in resistor by power in source should be equal to I V by I E and that's equal to simply V by E now what we have here is from here we have E is equal to I X plus R and similarly we must have this V is equal to V should be equal to I into X so when I put these values here it will be I X divided I X plus R equal to if I cut this I and I it becomes X by X plus R so this is equal to X by X plus R now in the second question we have a graph here the variation with the resistance X of the power PR dissipated in the resistor is so in the resistor is somewhat like this as uh, uh, we know uh, the power is less uh, in the beginning uh, at lower values of X then it increases and becomes peak value somewhere and again the power decreases so use figure 6.2 6.2 to state for maximum power dissipation in resistor R the magnitude of the power and the resistance of R so here we have to state the max power the max power is uh, this is 0 0.5 this should be uh, 0 0.4 so it should be 0 0.4 watt and the resistance at which it happens should be equal to uh, sorry I, I, I got it wrong so max power is equal to it should be 1 1.4 1 1.4 and the resistance should be equal to here it is 0 0.4 now we're given here uh, it says that the cell has EMF 1.5 volt the cell EMF 1.5 volt and we need to calculate the inter resistance of the cell so from these two values I first need to find the current here we know that power is equal to I square R which gives us I square equal to P by R and I is equal to root of P by R so this will be equal to the power is 1.4 resistance is 0 0.4 and root here it becomes ultimately its value is equal to 1.87 ampere it's ampere so now we can apply this equation to this e is equal to I uh, I let us say R plus R or I can say X plus R as well so X plus R uh, X plus R so it will give us or E is equal to 1.5 given from here equal to I is 1.87 this uh, X is equal to 
0 0.4 0 0.4 plus this is r which gives us which gives us or 1.5 by 1.87 minus 0 0.4 is equal to small r so this gives equal to 222 it is 0 0.40 something 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 so the value of this thing is equal to 0 0.40 ohm so as you can uh, uh, you can realize this value and this value is uh, almost equal there is something here they're almost equal so for greater efficiency we have got to the value of inner resistance and the value of external resistance should now in number d it says that in figure 6.2 it can be seen that 6.2 means uh, uh, this figure here. Uh, it can be seen that for larger values of x, the power dissipation decreases. Decreases using the relationship in B to suggest one advantage despite the lower power output, lower power output of using the cell in a circuit where the resistance x is higher than the resistance. So what it says is you ha we have to use relationship in B. This is relation. So if x is more, if x is more here what happens is we have this ratio will be more this ratio more means that the system becomes more efficient if this ratio is more the power uh, power got by the resistor power got by the uh, energy got by the resistor will be high will be high uh, compared to that of the source so that's why the efficiency goes on increasing so it's uh, answer is simply simply simply